Welcome to my 1936 Chevy Coupe, off-road edition. I recently replaced the rear suspension setup on this car and as you can see the rear is sitting way higher than the front. I'm not going drag racing anytime soon so I'd kind of like it a bit more level. So I have a, a few options, moving mounting points, top and bottom, but the easiest option for now could just be to replace the springs on the coilovers. So I'll show you what I've got. I need to put on something a bit dirty because I'm going to be crawling underneath and uh, we'll take it from there. Follow me. These are the coil springs I removed and these springs are much smaller in diameter than the ones I've replaced. So that would allow the back of the car to come down just because they wouldn't, you know, be stiff enough to keep it up. So I'm hoping that the diameter there is the same as the ones that are on the car at the moment and I can just swap them over. And I should point out that this coil spring, the shock inside is damaged, the seal is gone and I can't find the parts to replace it. Also, the mounting holes on these are different sizes. Different sizes, top and bottom, and also different size to what I've now got in the car. So I don't want to try and put these back on. Also, I think I damaged them. <laughs> okay, under the car. So here we are under my car. That's the new, the new coilovers I got on. And as you can see, if I compare it to this one, the one I took off, you can see the springs are quite different. However, if the diameter is the same, which I think they are, it's hard to tell from here, then I should be able to take those springs off, put these springs on, and it should drop by a certain amount. I've no idea how much, but there's not a lot of give in these springs at all, so it's worth a shot. It's a free option to try, so let me get these off and I'll see you back in the workbench. Right then, so that is the coil springs that I took off. This is the one I replaced, so I just took this off the car there, and as you can see if I line them up, The old springs are actually a bit shorter, which is going to reduce it immediately by an inch for the height. And also, as you can see, you can see better there how much thicker those springs are to the older ones. So if I swap this spring over to there, then I'm going to lose an inch and also it'll, it's going to compress a bit more when there's weight on it. So I will probably lower it by about two inches just by swapping the, spring, the springs and that might just be perfect. I've got virtually no adjustment at the bottom to make it any lower so I need to hope that that's going to work. I'm just looking at this because I need to figure out how to get this off. It looks like there's an Allen grub screw there and then the whole thing will somehow magically unscrew Guess we'll find out. Right, to the workbench. So I'm using one of my least favourite tools ever, and it's these spring compressors. Now I can only fit one in, there's just not enough space because coilovers are just like that. Um, hopefully there'll be enough compression between three springs to just release it a little bit, but I guess we'll find out. Wish me luck. Um, I've maxed out. So that's not going to work. Oh, goodness. I suppose I could take these off and file down a bit there. Okay. I spend more time modifying my tools than I do fixing cars, I tell you. 
So you need to go all the way down to that one. I just don't want to damage the, the housing of the damper, you know. Going to end in tears. Now my socket's too too fat to get in there. Oh, let's, let's try it upside, upside down. Well, if I'm going to damage it, I might as well damage it properly and put one on the other side. hard for myself. Let's do it down there. Ow. Alright. Put the other one on. Really don't like these springs. They're just like overachievers, you know. So the top cap is, oh, I see what happens. Oh, this is great. I don't actually have to loosen the bottom one. Once I get this loose, I can pop it down and out. Excellent. I just need to be a bit braver. Oh, oh it's starting to twist out. Kind of nerve wracking. It's one of these jobs you could do with an extra hand. So this this slot will allow this cap to go all the way that way, but I just need it to. I just need a tiny wee bit more. bit more distance. And I'm just I just don't want to tighten these any further. They're already at terrifying point. But I don't think I have an option. Because it has to go down to get past that. And then it has to, but it's also getting captive on the top of the spring there. Hammer time. Stand back. Joy. So now the spring will come out, except it seems to be stuck in the bottom. But that's okay, I can loosen these off now and then work out how I'm going to get that spring off. Whew, that was terrifying. So the spring was just being held on by love and respect. I just, uh, I just levered it up a little bit and it came off. So, you can clean that up and uh, take the other spring off, which is going to be just as much fun, and then see how that looks. What I'll probably do, I'll, uh, no, I won't, I'll just do it. Right, let's get the other spring. So this one's a wee bit different because 
it has these annoying notchy thingies. So just in case it's pushing up on the damper at the moment, I'll release that all the way down. Uh, yeah, and then it's got the same groove thing at the top. So as long as I reduce, you know, release it down about an inch or so, then I should be able to get that top off. <sighs> we shall see. See you in a minute. Righty, that was a pain. Okay, out with the old, in with the probably older. Don't just love a nice tidy workbench. So, this is the spring I want to put on. Oh, and it fits. That's a good start. So hopefully all I have to do is squish that down, put this on, and we're done. I'll maybe just put a little bit of grease around there, just because. Let me grab some of that, and then we will reassemble. That was a nightmare from hell. Oh boy, I had to modify my tool after all. And I don't see a notch for this, so I think we are, I think we're okay to release the pressure. Well, that one's already self-released. Just in time for that one then, eh? Oh, okay. If only this was the only one I had to do. But no, I have to do it all again. I'm going to just use the impact gun to get this off. If it will go on. There we go. Let's compare the height of that now to the... Oh no, I can't because I haven't taken the other one off. Right, I need to get the other one off and then get it done, get it back on. This is taking far too long. Does the time go? Okay, moment of truth. I'm going to jack it up on the axle so we get a first idea of the height, and then I'll take the jack stands away, lower it down, give it a shake. Wish me luck. Mm.
Oh, it's better. Oh yeah, that did it. Hopefully you'll get a better idea from here. I reckon when I go for a wee drive, it'll drop down another half inch and that'll be just delightful. I'm happy with that. So, a day's work. Should have probably been a couple of hours work, but it took me a day. But I think we've saved a lot of grief and more importantly, saved money. So that would do me for today. Really pleased that worked out. Now, I could have probably done it a bit quicker, but I had to do some work on my son's BRW. I actually really like working in that car. The parts are not rusty. Uh, but anyway, I would love to take you out on a wee drive tonight, but it's too dark. I'd rather take you out tomorrow. Oh no, it's going to be raining all day tomorrow. You'll need to wait till Friday. I'm sorry. Because uh, I want to drive it as well and see how it looks once I've finished the drive, see how it feels as I'm driving, all that stuff. Quite happy though, that was a good day. So, lots to clean up and get ready for the next project. I know exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow. And it, it involves some chrome. Bling bling. All right, take care everyone, as usual. Please subscribe and uh, feel free to visit the Facebook group. Scott Rods, Facebook, link in the description, leave a comment, uh, post a picture, post a link to your YouTube channel. Take care, everyone. Good night.